Hello my friends, welcome to a very fast review on some products that I got from the Born Pretty store. Uh, the Born Pretty store is a uh, Chinese company that sends out all kinds of products including makeup products. I did try to get some other products and they really wanted me to review their makeup products, so I am. I picked out these makeup items and uh, looking forward to showing you what they're like. Um, I do have two wins, one fail from this company and the fail for me is this uh, Kabuki brush and I will put all the information of where I found these items on their website down below, but this Kabuki brush is just way too fluffy. Uh, when I, I feel like when I apply it, it just doesn't really blend the way that I like a Kabuki brush to blend. Let me show you a Kabuki brush that I own. Okay, so this is the one from Everyday Minerals, and I love Everyday Minerals. I love their eyeshadows. I love their makeup brushes. So the Born Pretty one is definitely bigger, but look how dense that is. I don't know if you can see the difference in the density. Hopefully you can see it. Very, very, very soft, but the density just isn't there. These are much more compact. This is much fluffier. So when I go to blend, this gives a much softer blend. So if you're dealing with really pigmented products, you really need a more dense brush. If you're just trying to kind of even everything out very gently, this one will work fine. I do like the handle on it. I like the way that it grips where it's got this little... I don't know, this little like handle here. I like being able to grab it like that and then use it. Um, so it's not a total bust. It's just not my favorite Kabuki brush, Kabuki brush of all time. Uh, moving into the lip product. Now this is really interesting. This is by Hang Fang, and it is a Color Magic lip balm and or lipstick. And as you can see, this stuff applies really, really cool. Where it looks like it's green, but then you put it on, and it's like this bright pink. And let me tell you about this. This stuff does not come off. I'll show you a swatch on my hand. I I don't want to because it's not going to come off. But okay, see how it's like nothing, but then it slowly changes color. On my lips it changes immediately. I think it has something to do with the heat. It's already brightening. It's pretty amazing. So neat. It makes you wonder what chemicals are in it that make it do that, but it's a really cool product and I love the color um, and it's and it, it stays on all day. Like no joke, like you cannot get this stuff off. So if you don't like the color, you are just completely insert expletive here. This is definitely a win for me. I really, really enjoy this. It's moisturizing. It has a very, very slight fruity scent, but definitely nothing I even notice on my lips at all. Um, just a really, really fun product there. The last product that I got from them is by Zinyi Zhu. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, I'll put the name down there, and it's called a Soft Blush and it's a professional blush, and everything else is in another language, some an Asian language that I'm not familiar with. I don't know if it's Chinese or... I'm not good at telling the difference between the characters, but that is the blush there. And this is just a beautiful blush. I'll show you finger swatch. There's finger. Oh, can you see that lipstick brightening up. There's that there. I'll do one more. Double. So you can see. And just really, really pretty. This blush has an 8 to 10 hour wear, which is really good for a blush, and I'm really, really happy with the formula here. It doesn't kick up a ton of powder when you use it, which is nice, that you're not going to make a big mess. The lasting power is nice, pigmentation is nice. I have no complaints about this blush at all. Another thing uh, with Born Pretty is you do have to expect a longer shipping time, so definitely prepare for that ahead of time. Last time I did a, um, a review of a company that was, uh, I think it was it was a Chinese or Korean, was um, a lot of people asked me if the shipping was really expensive and I honestly don't know what the shipping is for Born Pretty but if I can find any information it will be in the down bar below about what their shipping charges are because I know that was a huge huge question on the last video that I did that was similar to this. So those are the three products that I got from Born Pretty. Again this one uh, yeah, could do without. This is really fun but make sure you commit to the color before you put it on and then this here blush. I absolutely loved the formula on this. Amazing. So Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It makes me look awesome and like you really liked the video if you give it a thumbs up. So I appreciate that. And make sure you subscribe if uh, you're not already subscribed. I do about two to three videos a week, mostly makeup reviews, box openings, things of that nature. And if you like that, hang around for the next video and subscribe. So thank you so much for watching. Mad love, my friends, and I'll see you soon. Bye!